What's up guys, Grim here. Today I logged on to my character to work on my Plain Touch Wilds weeklies and then I get a tell from my buddy Munch My Toast and he says, you have got to check out this forum post from Ocho. It is big changes and lots of controversy. So we're going to go over exactly what was posted and Grim slots on it all. So many of you have already seen the post today and for those that haven't i'll explain exactly what's going on and why all the controversy is happening so basically ocho posted on the forums today that they were changing it to where two of the items that you could well two of the things that you could earn in game are now only going to be able to be purchased with credits and these two things are the earring slot uh, unlocks and also planeswalker water ability and if you're unfamiliar with the ladder uh, attribute or whatever else you want to call it, it's basically something that you have to have in order to wear a lot of the Nightmare Tide boots and stuff like that. So it's pretty much mandatory if you want good gear in the game right now. And so they had it to where you could actually get it with Void Stones. And it was a really high cost. It was like 100,000 Void Stones for each of those items. Well, now that the game has, uh, Nightmare Tide has been out for a while, people have a lot of Void Stones. So unlocking these slots isn't as hard as it was whenever Nightmare Tide first came out. There's a lot more things that you can do in the game to actually hit that Void Stone cap. And, you know, even with the Plain Touch Wilds being released, there's four more weeklies there. There's a lot of extra quests that were not there whenever Nightmare Tide first came out. So getting the earring slot unlock in uh planeswalker uh plain walker water attribute was you know is very viable now whenever it wasn't as viable before with just void stones so for them to make it to where now you have to buy credits uh well get credits in order to purchase these things because void stones are much easier to get now it's it's in it's really infuriating people because Rift has always been able to brag about their uh, their free to play model basically everything in the game can be earned the best in slot items were not going to be sold on the store and all that well I don't know Thing, things are becoming very controversial now because if you look back uh, just recently they released the warmonger weapons that you can buy with credits and these are, of course, the best weapons for PvP. Um, then you, uh, but the thing is, is right beforehand, they had rush, uh, apparently rushed out this raid content so that they could release the T3 weapons. So technically, the T3 weapons were the best in slot when they released the Warmonger stuff. So the Warmonger stuff being able to be purchased with credits did not mean that it was the best in slot uh overall in the game so and i think everybody can pretty much uh agree that the game is mainly focused around pve and not pvp so uh for the best in slot item in pve to be the standard would it makes sense you know even though the warmonger weapons are what everybody is trying to get in pvp you know it makes sense so we're going to go ahead and jump a uh, few posts ahead and the man people are just outraged there's another page of people really being upset with this uh, basically I have not seen one post so far of anybody supporting this change everybody is furious tons of people are saying they're canceling their subscriptions all that stuff um, well here is another quote that apparently Daglar made I think it was around yeah uh, May of May 14th of 2013 so uh, right around the free to play time I believe whenever the game went free to play uh, basically he says here we are not selling power we are not pay to win every piece of stat granting equipment that you can buy from the store can also be gained through play our philosophy is that the very best gear in the game must be earned you won't find a max level best in slot trinket that can be purchased for credits so is this another technicality you know uh the 
the earring slots although it is not an item it is an unlock uh, it's an unlock that you have to have in order to equip this stat granting equipment so technically they are not selling uh, a stat uh, stat granting equipment item they're just selling the unlock so it's a technicality but you know you have to have one before you can get to the other so a lot of people are getting upset about this because uh, another big thing that's a uh, big issue with this basically is that uh, on the US servers Rex sells for between 2200 platinum to 2400 somewhere in there uh, and the cap that you can have as a free player before you use a Rex or whatever is 2500 so you can actually save up enough money on the North American servers and buy Rex off of the market use it and then you'll begin accumulating credits to where you can unlock these so you can actually gain it through gameplay once again technicality here but that is not viable on the european servers right now because rex is being sold on european servers for like 3400 so a free to play player cannot even buy a rex in order to start working towards this unlock uh, of either things, you know, either the earring unlock or the planeswalker water ability or whatever. So, yeah, you got a huge issue there if European players cannot even work towards it in the game in any way. Uh, nobody's going to sell them a Rex, you know, for the most part, unless you got a buddy or something. But nobody's going to sell them a Rex for, you know, a thousand platinum less than what it's worth. So, uh, what are my thoughts on all this? Okay, so basically, um, I think they can do whatever they want. Now, is it going to be popular? No, you're going to see a lot of people unsubbing and all this stuff. I mean, uh, I mean, what I'm getting at is other games do this to a, a much more. Uh, much worse degree so to say if you get on star wars the old republic or runescape or uh any of these other games that have a free-to-play model their model is much much worse than this there are tons of restrictions you get on runescape and you can't even access half the game in order to uh, if you're a free-to-play player uh, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, it has tons of restrictions. There are all these other games that have huge restrictions on any kind of free-to-play player. Even though they're going, hey, we're a free-to-play game, man, as soon as you start playing it, you'll realize that it is not fun being a free-to-play player. And Rift has always like broken down that wall. Uh, Rift was one of those games that you could play and you know, you want to run an Inquisitor spec or something like that, but yet that third soul that Grim has a build on, it's a, it's a like Oracle or something like that. Well, guess what? You don't have to use Oracle. You can use one of these others. You can use Just Car or something. You know, be a little tankier or whatever. Uh, there was always ways to get what you want, basically. And also, you could, um, you know, uh, the. There was always ways to accomplish what you wanted to accomplish in the game, even if you had to sidestep a little bit. Um, but with the earrings, that's that's a bigger issue because you're not uh, you get into an expert dungeon. As soon as they see you don't have earrings, they're probably going to vote kick you. You get into PvP, you're going to be lacking in stats big time, and man uh, people are going to kill you really easy probably so there's just such a huge issue with not being able to have earring slots um now uh i, I i'm not too sure how much in support of it uh, you know i mean overall I, I i don't like that this has been changed uh, let's get that out of the way i i don't like that they're putting this in but there was obviously higher ups that felt like this is needed so uh it's coming one way or the other it's coming now uh but they need to find some kind of solution this should not have been announced without some kind of solution uh they needed to have some solution to the the rex issue like where european players cannot even buy rex as a free-to-play player because they don't have their uh, their uh platinum cap is too low 
Uh, there should have been solutions to this before it got released uh, like this. And also they're saying you only have two days before this is going to go in. So if you were working towards uh, unlocking this stuff, you only have two days to come up with however many uh, void stones in order to unlock the items because that's what you were working towards. And uh, it, even uh, the cost of the void uh, in order to get the void stones in order to unlock this stuff, uh, I think somebody said that in order to unlock both items, you would have to hit the void stone cap for five weeks in a is straight. So a two day notice is not going to allow these players to try to, you know, uh, reach their goal before the deadline kind of thing. So yeah, I, I hate that this is actually happening, but I can't hate on the company too much because the other companies are doing it much, much worse. Uh, the thing that I'm really disappointed about is that it is taking away the whole mentality that Rift is the free-to-play model to brag about. Um, whenever you go and watch a live stream like Tally or a Bajira or any of these guys and you ask them what the best free-to-play model is, they all say Rift. They all say Rift. And if you do stuff like this that is going to make it to where people do not see it in that way, they're not going to be suggesting Rift to their friends and family and all that stuff. So I think this is a really bad change, uh, but I really wish they would have came with some more solutions to it before they announced it. Um, but like I said, I, ca I can't hate on the company. So, uh, somebody in the higher up made this decision and whenever it comes down to it, other companies are doing it much worse. Much, much worse. Uh, but it's, ne it's never pleasant to see the game that you love going in the direction that other games are already at. So, yeah. It's disappointing. But I don't see it as a reason to quit the game or cancel my subscription or anything. Uh, it's, it's more like... You know this is disappointing but we'll move on you know kind of like the other stuff that, uh, that happens usually it's not that game breaking but it's disappointing I, I think that's the main thing that I'm looking for uh, a lot of you guys see it different I mean because if you go through these posts you will see tons of people saying that they are canceling their subscriptions and stuff and because they they feel like they're being backstabbed, basically, because the game has always been no tricks, no gimmicks, you know, everything that you can get in the game, uh, you know, the best in slot in the game cannot be bought with credits. I mean, just all these fundamentals that Rift has always been able to brag about, people are feeling like that those bragging points are slowly crumbling you know it's they're they're poking holes in the wall the entire time they're going okay you guys say that you can't get the best in slot but the best in slot weapon for pvp is bought with credits now poke a hole in that wall you know they're just trying to bust down that wall and things like this don't help so uh yeah i don't know um but the main thing to keep in mind guys whenever you get discouraged whenever stuff like this happens is compare it to other games though compare it to other games before you make a decision to cancel your patron status or quit the game altogether you got to remember that other games are pretty much doing it a lot worse it's just sad whenever your game is doing a little bit of the same stuff all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh uh, I hope you guys don't get too discouraged with changes like this because Rift is still an amazing game. Uh, but not everything that they do is going to make you happy all the time. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.